Hello, I'm Phil Mommen, energy psychotherapist and proud to be a member of ASEP, the Association for Comprehensive Energy Psychology, and also the Guild of Energists here in England. This video is designed to assist in removing certain kinds of errant coding or false coding from the human energy system. Errant coding is analogous to malware in a computer. It causes our energy system to malfunction in all manner of ways. Like other energy psychotherapists, I work with the mind as it interfaces with the body's subtle energy system, guiding my clients to stimulate various energy centers, including chakras and acupressure meridians. Such work has been evolving since the 1970s, and some forms of it, such as emotional freedom techniques and thought field therapy, are now quite well established and are evidence-based, with quite a number of research studies indicating their efficacy. For details of these studies, go to the research page of the Association for Comprehensive Energy Psychology. The website address is www.energypsych.org. Energypsych, E N E R G Y P S Y C H dot org, and find the research page on the drop down menu on the Resources tab. What I am talking about in this video is not evidence based. It does not derive from formal, conventional research. It is speculative, theoretical and experimental. It is not a treatment for any mental or physical disease. I am not selling or marketing anything, nor attempting to persuade anyone of anything. I'm simply sharing some insights, hypotheses and a procedure that may or may not be of benefit to you. If you are interested or intrigued, you are welcome to continue. If you're looking for treatment of a physical or medical condition, please look elsewhere and consult your medical physician or other licensed practitioner. Please do not assume that what I say is true. It may not be. What I am sharing are hypotheses. They may be incorrect and I may be mistaken. So, on with the main content. Have you ever felt there is something wrong with the human species? What I discerned through my work is that there is a whole layer of errant coding that subtly but profoundly distorts human experience, perception and behaviour and limits our awareness it has somehow entered pervasively into our energy systems for reasons unknown during the course of human evolution. We can remove this primal layer of errant coding from some people, but perhaps not from all. So that's the first primal layer. Then there is another layer of errant code that gives rise to broad patterns of human despair and anguish as a result of the limitations and distortions created by the more primal layer. Another layer of errant coding is the coding of generalizations based on our actual experiences during our development in childhood, forming core beliefs schemas, internal working models, and so forth. And this is the area explored in much of conventional psychotherapy. On the basis of these templates, the psychodynamics of the mind develop, including the unconscious attempts to counter the patterns of the basic templates. But working with the psychodynamics of the mind alone will not alter the fundamental patterns that are based on the errant coding. These fundamental patterns are somewhat analogous 
adapt the Jungian archetypes. I will take you through an exercise designed to remove some of the errant coding. This may only work if you do it whilst watching the video. It may not work if you just try to uh, do it from memory on your own. We do this by holding particular energy points and using intention. Based on my inferences as to where and how the errant coding is in the human energy body. When we stimulate some of these energy centers, we are accessing higher dimensional realities, and these are responsive to intention and command. We are going to aim to clear what we can of the primal layer of errant coding, but also a particular constellation I call the Adam and Eve coding represented in disguised form in the, in the biblical Genesis narrative of Adam and Eve being expelled by God from the Garden of Eden. There may be many meanings to this myth, but I think it is partly about a broken connection to source. The true tree of life is broken. There has been a dimensional fall, a digression, a mutation, and it is inscribed in our energy body. This coding shapes and fuels feelings and experiences of being cast out, driven out, rejected, displaced, scorned, shamed, of having no home, of being banished from family, being disowned and of being fundamentally bad and undeserving. To remove these patterns of errant coding, place two fingers together under the collarbones in the center of your chest, right in the center, two fingers under the ends of the collarbones, so it's under your chin, under the collarbones, and two fingers of your other hand on the heart chakra, uh, a couple of inches, two or three inches below that, in the center of your chest. And now visualize or intend a shining, shimmering, large blue diamond just under your collarbones in the center, just behind your fingers. A shining, sparkling blue diamond surrounded by a soft, silvery white aura. Think of this as your access point to your own higher dimensions. And we are now going to direct our request, our command, to these higher dimensions. So now close your eyes and I too will be entering this energy pose and closing my eyes and will be silently directing the clearing to precise locations within the energy body. And we now intend and request and command that the primal layer of errant coding be removed from all levels, domains, and dimensions of your being. From signets 1 to 12 of your basic grid and from density shields 1 to 3 in both present and parallel self, in both atomic and etheric realms, and be replaced with true organic coding.
And we also command that the Adam and Eve coding be removed from your system, from signet one of your basic grid, and from your atomic and etheric density shields one and two. With all its programs and circuitry, completely removed and replaced with organic coding. And now tap fingertips and thumb tips together just in front of this blue diamond access point as we clear all the patterns of the errant coding from your chakras, your meridians, and your axiotonal lines, and from both your present and parallel self. And then just a few taps on the very ends of the collarbones here under your throat. And that's it. I hope you have found this helpful and that it has stimulated greater awareness and curiosity about the anatomy and higher dimensional aspects of the energy body and how these may have been compromised for many of us. I hope you notice some benefits following this exercise. This is part of an ongoing exploration and is a component of an approach I call Blue Diamond Healing. And again, I must emphasize that it is experimental, it is not presented as a cure for any physical or mental disease and is not a substitute for any kind of medical or psychological care. Thank you for your attention. I'm Phil Mullen.